G'day, g'day, g'day. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. We are getting into another episode of How I Met Your Mum. This is season three, episode 18. Rebound, bro. Rebound, bro. Rebound, the broco. Bro. The broco. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this. If you would like to watch more in full, head over to the link down in the description down below. All that's for Patreon. Where today for nine ninety nine. <laughs> Where today? Yes, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. For a couple of dollars per month, guys, you get content galore daily: movies, TV series, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, and you get certain anime and anim animation movies. Some anime has been taken off because of copyright issues and everything like that. But we do movies and TV series every single day, guys. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That is why there are bags under my eyes. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's go. Real loss. Are you saying you don't want to be bros anymore? I'm saying I don't want to be friends anymore. You need to stop calling me. Ted, I'm sorry I haven't returned your calls. <laughs> yeah, I never called you. I got to let you go. There's just too many good wingmen out there. Are you crying? No, I'm not. <laughs> Goodbye, Barney. <laughs> I miss Barney. I think I might be starting to lose my fist bump, Callus. Why are you so much madder at Barney than me? What did I say? There you go. What did I say? There you go. Keep watching. I think I'd actually prefer it if you were mad at me. This is too weird. I've outgrown Barney as a friend. It's that simple. Mm, I'll tell you why he's not. Outgrown Barney as a. <laughs> okay, there's some pettiness there. That's just pettiness right there. I'm sorry, but you and Barney are best friends. You yeah. don't outgrow your best friend. You outgrow friends, you don't outgrow best friends. Best friends, time and distance and everything like that may separate you, but it doesn't mean you're not best friends. You may haven't seen each other in 15, 10 years, but it doesn't mean you're not best friends still. Yeah. Because everything comes back around. Stella and I have been dating for two months. And things were going really well. There was just one little problem. You guys haven't had sex yet? <laughs> when Marshall and I were two months in, we were doing it 24-7. I know. I was in the top bunk. <laughs> I just sat next to you guys at football games. I think she wants to make sure we're serious first. That's why she hasn't introduced me to her daughter either. Do you remember Martin Luther King Day? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Dude, big time. <laughs> Does anybody have any gum or ice or a piece of bark they're not chewing? <laughs> Word around the blogosphere is that you're looking for a new wingman. Was that it? <laughs> no offense, Randy, but there's a long list of candidates for this slot. Thank you. I won't let you down. So Uncle Barney began okay. the search for a new wingman. I've been meaning to call you. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Just had a baby daughter. So what do you think, 9.30, 10 o'clock? <laughs> right now I'm bros with Doug Stein. Doug Stein's a good bro. What up, B-Dog? Long time no bro. 9 p.m., we watch 27 dresses. Everybody's home by 11. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Hanging up on you once wasn't enough. Plus, everywhere. Let's have sex. Right now. I'll lock the door. Yeah, but then it's just going to be weird between me and the door tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been so patient, Ted. I have a confession to make. I was afraid of this. You're 14. <laughs> Been a while since I was intimate with anyone. Me too. Really? Me too. It's been five months for you too? Five years? Oh! Stella hasn't had sex since 2003. The movie Seabiscuit had just galloped into theaters. And our hearts. <laughs> I would be out on the street selling it for a nickel. The last yeah, now. Sex, the world was just learning about SARS. What else wow. did she say? Did she give you any kind of explanation? Girls regret the guys they do sleep with. Ted, you're staring at my boobs. In my defense, <laughs> they were staring at me. But the truth is, I really do want to do this with you. Like right now, ready? <laughs> the Da Vinci Code had just come out. Oh that doesn't God. seem like that long ago. Not the movie. The book. Wow. <laughs> Anything you do is going to be fireworks. I hadn't been with Marshall in two months and 19 days. <laughs> An earthquake got her off. 
<laughs> oh, San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know, Lily. After five years, her expectations have got to be pretty high. Jesus Christ. Did you guys know that Mel Carter had died? <laughs> I really have to bring my A game to satisfy this woman. Yeah, it'll be pretty hard now that she's dead. Not Mel Carter, Stella. I'm married, Barney. I cannot be your new wingman. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Randy. Would you come in here for a minute? <laughs> How would you like to be my new wingman? I just need to check my calendar. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow works. <laughs> I have a surprise appetizer for us today. Check it out. It's been forever since I had potato skins. That's surprising. What? It's potato skin. It's good, but not nearly as good as I'd built it up to be in my head. And is a totally respectable size. I couldn't enjoy it because of my own unrealistic expectations. Is this a length thing? No. Quick on the draw? No. Unexpected number of testicles? No. <laughs> Dad, of course it's going to be worth it. It already has everything it needs. What up, bro Sif Lieberman? Uh-uh. <laughs> When I first met him, he was an even bigger loser than you. What a loser. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to make you the greatest wingman in the history. You are like a god to me. That's why tonight is going to be legendary. Wait for it. Dairy. <laughs> tonight is going to be legendary. Wait for it. Dairy. Uh, what? Tonight is going to be legendary. Wait for it. Dairy. <laughs> that's, that's how that. it's done. Randy, let's do this. No, 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 please, please, please. Yes. No. Randy, listen to me. You can. I don't know. Listen to me. Yes. Uh, have you met? <laughs> hey. Hey. So. Five years. Straight to the hotel? Straight to the hotel. I'll get my bag. <laughs> Looking forward to tonight? Yeah, definitely. I would explode if it had been that long since I had oh. a night. <laughs> this one wakes me up at 4 a.m. Sometimes. Shut up! Shut out. up! Oh, uh, they've just blocked about? Ted. That's a block. Nothing. Pizza, what are you talking about? That's a block. You told them that I haven't had sex in five years. You haven't had sex in five years? We're just finding out about right now. No. Uh. Why Marsha and Lily can't shut up? They always have Stella, to splurt everything I out. I have told them. That was so personal. Not many people go five years without having sex. Thirteen years? I peaked really young. That's why it was difficult for me to tell you, but I did tell you because I thought that I could trust you. You can trust me. You know, there's always a reason not to sleep with a guy. Did I give you a reason or were you looking for one? Exactly. Why would I be looking for one? Exactly. Because things are getting serious between us. That is that probably the you. smartest thing that Ted has ever said right there. That's probably... Let's just listen to that again. Did I give you a reason or were you looking for one? Exactly. Right there. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Because things are getting serious between us and that scares you. Good night, Ted. Ted's right for once. Isolate her from her friends. Suddenly put her down. <laughs> He's crawling like a little kid, like this. Hi, Haley. That's a pretty name, Haley. Haley, come here, Haley. Okay. You are a fat, ugly whore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Barbie. <laughs> pretty soon you'll be able to anticipate it, and when you do, free drink. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, I like your brooch. The leading expert on koala bears in Australia. What is your favorite thing about koala bears? Meat is delicious. <laughs> That's a New plan. We need to get you. Can we just have a TV show with this guy, please? As <laughs> <laughs> my friend Robin has agreed to help out. My name is Randy. Hi, Randy. You're doing really, really well. Now ask her what she's doing later. Yeah, your nose is bleeding like a faucet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this happens every time I get an erection. Okay. Okay. You are the woman that needs. Why are you That's... so desperate to have this? 
<laughs> the funniest character they've introduced. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, see, big goofballs? That's what TV shows need like that. I'm telling you, man. By rushing into a new wingman relationship, Randy is your rebound, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. What Randy and I have is real. No, it's not, Barney. And even if you got Randy late tonight... It hasn't clotted, but I think it's pretty much draining backwards now. <laughs> <laughs> I think... It would be one of the biggest achievements of Barney's life to get him laid. <laughs> I've been thinking, this isn't working out. I knew I couldn't fly this close to the sun without getting burned because I screwed up so much I was an insurance liability. Jesus Christ. New York City police officer and you didn't tell me? Did you ever shoot anybody? Only all the time. I don't think there's anything hotter than a cop. Can I take you to my place and fix you up? Have a great time, you two. Ew! Ted doesn't know what he's missing. You had to mention Ted, didn't you? Roll Ted! Roll Ted! Hey, I really overreacted last night. I'm sorry. You said that I was looking for a reason for this whole thing to fall apart. You're on to me, Ted. Hey, told you. That's actually something that I do a lot. I'm in. I didn't even know that was going to be that I'm ready to do with you. Stella and I thought our relationship was going to take a big step that weekend. Did you hear what the narrator said? Thought that means nothing happened. Yeah. Turns out it took on an even bigger one. They were it took an even bigger one. Wait. That's a big step. To but is that the yellow umbrella girl that everyone keeps saying in the comment section? No. I'm waiting for the yellow umbrella well, girl. You have nine seasons. There. Oh, for fuck's yeah, sakes! Exactly. So I don't even know who the f the yellow umbrella girl is. Everyone keeps saying, "Wait for the yellow umbrella girl" in the comment section. Well, no. But the thing is, uh, yeah, they thought uh, that there was going to be a thing. A they were going to do something important in the relationship with one was having sex. It turned out he ended up meeting her daughter, <laughs> which is a big step for her because she's never, all these people she's had sex with, obviously she's not introduced them to her daughter. Yeah? True. It's a big step. So it's a big step for her to do that because she's something. Yeah. That she, she, usually she sounds asleep. Oh, she is so great. And uh, there's a motel just down the turnpike. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, I gotta call Marshall and Lily tell him about this. <laughs> la, 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 la. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It was happy ending for everyone. It was happy there you ending go. for Ted, happy ending for Stella, happy ending for Red. There you go. Come on. Happy ending. <laughs> happy ending. I think the biggest achievement was um, was, was Barney getting R Randy. Randy laid. That's yeah. probably one of the biggest achievements known to mankind. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, or that having that goofy character was amazing. Yeah. That's because it's a different, it's a different, it's a different personality that gets introduced. Mm -hmm. And I've always said this: one of the reasons why Friends will always be amazing is because of the goofy personalities mm -hmm. of Phoebe and Joey. Yeah. This doesn't have it. That's the only thing yeah. that separates the two TV series. I feel like this one is a bit more, this is a bit more mature. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas Friends is catered to a younger sort of female audience, yeah? yeah? Um, Even though that females are mature. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like with all this drama and soap opera sort of type of stuff. Yeah, in, no, in there's more Friends. like. There's more drama. Yeah. It's more but like real life. Situations yeah, yeah. No, that it's would pop more up like drama. love, romance. Yeah. Don't say bad things about women. Yeah. You know what I mean? Getting yeah. that's friends. Getting like because I think it was also in the, it was it's from the nineties. So really, like having Rachel who comes from a rich family, uh, say no, I'm going to actually work and do stuff. That oh, was like uh, a big change. For mate, the two thousands, the TV I mean? series from the two thousands and the and the late nineties, we're never going to see again ever. You're never going to see something like How I Met Your Mother no, ever no, no, again. But that's what I mean. Ever that's what again. I mean. no, and I 
if people people want it, you're not going to get it. You're never going to get something like How I Met Your Mother no, no, no. ever again, no. guys. Ever. No, no. That no. I don't like it, but that's the truth. I don't like it the way the world is going when it comes to these sorts of things, but that's the truth. You're not going to get it. Literally, they tried to cancel Seinfeld. Literally, they tried to cancel every single TV series yeah. that steps on people's toes. Everything. Yeah. Sure. So... I still, I still don't know how Family Guy and, and Family Guy still go with <laughs> the amount of stuff they do. But, yeah, no, another yeah. good episode of How I Met Your Mother. Hey, it looks like Ted and Stella, their relationship is developing. But she doesn't have a yellow umbrella. No, People no, have we, spoiled it for me by we, saying. That we know of at the moment. Oh. We haven't seen her with a yellow umbrella. We haven't seen the resemblance That's with the right. yellow umbrella yet. But I'm going to ask you, does she have a yellow umbrella? Damn it! <laughs> That's what I said. You have to be patient. Everyone keeps saying in the comment section, the yellow umbrella well, girl. everyone in the comment section, shut up. Yeah. There you go. Tanya told you, stop talking about the yellow umbrella girl. All right. Because yeah, it's, a, it's a big spoiler. Very big spoiler. Well, it was it was that episode that the yellow umbrella appeared, and then people and started I, commenting, I didn't want and I had to block them because I'm like, oh, I oh. didn't want to tell you about it because it, see now you can know if that's the mom or not by the umbrella, and that's why I didn't want to tell you anything about the stupid umbrella. And people but also, she has a kid, and that's his kids he's talking to. That's what I mean. That's not that you know what I mean in the thing. They're his kids. That is talking to this about the story. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll speak to you all tomorrow morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out and bye-bye. Bye. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just mental because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job. Don't slack up.